What's up guys, it's Jonathan the Basketball Card Guy and people have been asking me now that Thomas Bryant is getting some well-deserved love from the card community, uh, why I got started collecting him and what are some of the top cards I have of him in my collection? Because as some of you know, I've been collecting him for a couple years now. <laughs> so today I thought I would give you the top 10 Thomas Bryant cards or kind of collections of cards that I currently own. I'm always looking for more. If you guys have Thomas Bryant stuff, I mean, feel free to hit me up. Uh, I've been collecting for a while now. And the reason I started was I was just really impressed with him. I thought that he was a guy, just a solid shooter. He had one of the best field goal percentage, shooting percentages last year and last year's season. Um, he had a perfect game in last year's season, which hasn't happened in 20 years. 14 for 14 shots. He's on a great play for Bryant who slams it in! 14 for 14! Yeah, with authority. I, I, it's, it's just amazing. It just doesn't happen. I think before that was Gary Payton, like 20 years ago, and then Wilt Chamberlain. Um, so... The only person that's had 15 for 15 shots in a game was Wilt. So he's really in a class there. It's pretty insane. That and his energy. He's just got great energy as a player. He's a team player. He cares about the team. And it's just something that's always made me feel like, wow, he's a cool player to collect. I like collecting good people, you know, as well as guys that play well. So I featured Thomas Bryant as the player to watch on my website about a year and a half, two years ago. He saw it and sent me a video. I'll actually show you the video right now that he sent me. What's up, Jonathan? It's Thomas Bryant from the Washington Wizards. And I just wanted to say I noticed you put me as a player to watch on basketballcarguy.com. I appreciate the support. I remember when I was younger, I used to like get all of the cars, like the throwback Kobe Bryant's, the Michael Jordans, the you know Scottie Pimpins, and Magic Johnsons, and Shaquille O'Neal's. All the like all the good cards, man. I remember the throwback Ray Allen ones I used to have, man, but you know, I appreciate the support and hope you keep cheering for me, you know, and cheer for the Wizards as well, too, man. Much love, man. After that point, people just started letting me know, hey, I've got this Bryant, this Bryant, this Bryant. Are you interested? Are you interested? I was always looking on eBay. I was always looking around, just trying to see anything I could find. So, the result is right now. <laughs> I'm going to show you the top 10 Thomas Bryant cards currently in my collection. Starting off at number 10, uh, rookie card, out of contenders, the cracked ice version, number 23, autograph right there. Uh, pretty cool. Indiana, I love the look of the, the cracked ice. I have probably too many of the regular autographs, probably 20 or 30 of the regular autograph card. But this cracked ice, I have a couple of, and I love them. So that's number, that's number 10. Number 9, oh, just because I love the design on this year's, um, galactic out of this year's revolution. These 1920, uh, 2019, 2020 revolution galactic are just gorgeous cards. And the image of Thomas on this card, uh, just that yell, that rah, I love that. So I don't, I don't just have one. I got three of those right now. Uh, always looking for more of these as well. Um, just love that card. That's my number nine. Um, number eight is the galactic rookie. Obviously important as well. Lakers jersey, which for those of you that don't know, he was on the Lakers. Didn't play a ton on the Lakers. Uh, went down to the G League, made a huge splash there, and then was brought up by the Wizards. So he's really made a name for himself on the Wizards, but he started uh, on the Lakers with also a reverse number. Uh, the Lakers, he was number 31. Now he's number 13 uh, on the Wizards. So galactic rookie. Uh, also a rookie. I have a Gem Mint 10 Zebra Prism which is cool for those of you that have chased after the Zebras. They're tough cards to get. Uh, also a rookie card, so it's very cool there. Then um, I have a series of cards. Uh, National Treasures, obviously, is the kind of premier rookie card people want. They want the RPAs, the rookie patch autographs. Unfortunately, Thomas did not have <laughs> a rookie patch autograph, uh, but he did have a rookie autograph. So I've got the one out of 99, I've got the one out of 25, and I've got the one out of 10 as well, um, the uh, rookie autographs. These were tough. Uh, these are some of the last cards, actually, that I picked up. They just don't come up very often. A lot of people hold on to the National Treasure stuff. Um, I lost track, but I'm going to keep counting down anyway. The uh, 
this card's neat because it's one of the rarer ones as well that I've seen and has the fullest autograph out of any because it has a very large sticker, but it's the Status Draft Night. Happens to be jersey numbered, number 31 of 32. I have two of these. I'm just showing one for now. Um, but love this. It's, you know, it's the classic draft pose, uh, holding the ball there, but just a bigger autograph because it's on a much bigger sticker. Love that. Uh, this is neat. This is another collection. Um, so in all of 2018-19, in what was his real first breakout into the NBA, when he had his perfect game, um, the entire year, they only produced him in one set. So if you think about how many sets come out during the year, he was only in one, and that set was Immaculate. So there were five versions of one card in Immaculate. It started with the 99, so this one's out of 99. Um, then they had the one out of 35, which is red. Then they did the one blue out of 25. Then they did the gold out of 10. And then the platinum, of course, one of one right there. So I actually have all five cards that they produced of him the entire year. It's the entirety of what they produced all year long that year. Uh, so that I think is pretty neat too. Uh, in terms of his rookie, I mean, prism rookies are what people go after a lot. I have piles and piles and piles of prism rookie cards and autographs of him. Um, but these are special. Uh, these are two of the gold prism autographs out of fast break. They're just gorgeous. They're numbered to 10. Each one's numbered to 10 um, right there. So I've got two of those gorgeous cards. Always looking for more. Uh, then we move on to the last three in my top 10. And they're all one of ones. So you've already seen a one of one out of Immaculate uh, second year. Uh, this is the one of one rated rookie out of Donruss, the black one of one labeled right on the front with a black logo. Um, so that one, this one I like kind of went back and forth on for a while. Like, do I want it? Do I want it? It was listed online for quite a time and I finally worked out a deal for it. Um, number two on my list is, I mean, gorgeous and it's graded really well. You guys know me. I don't care as much about the grading as the card, especially a one of one. I really don't care about the grade at all. It's the only one. Even if it's graded perfect, it's still the worst condition in the world too, right? Um, but this was the checkerboard one of one rookie autograph, uh, gem mint 10 PSA. But again, like I said, I care less about the grade one of one on the back. Uh, just awesome though. I love the checkerboard look. So that's my number two, my number one card, my most kind of sought after one. And the one that I just been looking for forever. It's his only one of one autograph out of prism. So it's the Prism Black one of one. He has a couple of other one of ones in Prism, but this is the only one of one autograph made. Um, so again, I could care less about the grade, but um, just really awesome card to have. So there's my top 10. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I thought I'd share it a little bit today. Uh, I am what you call a Thomas Bryant super collector. And a super collector is simply someone that just keeps buying and buying and buying as many of that player's cards as you can. You don't mind having duplicates. You just want to have as many of the cards as you can. And for Thomas Bryant, I'm definitely in that category. Uh, if you guys know any super collectors, I am going to feature a few super collectors on an upcoming series I'm going to do on my YouTube. So if you're a super collector or you know a super collector, please reach out to me. Shoot me a DM. I would love to do a video interview with you, feature you. I feel like we've kind of lost the whole super collector zone. Beckett used to feature a super collector every month in their magazine. And I used to love reading about them. And they just, they just stopped doing it. <laughs> so I haven't seen it in the longest time. So I thought, what better way than through video? So if you guys are super collectors or you know somebody that is, I already know a few. I know a few of you out there, you know. But please reach out to me. I'd love to do a video with you, share your collection, let people know why you collect and why you became a super collector as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, feel free to tune into my YouTube channel as well. There's lots of great information there, longer form videos. And I'm always available on DM. So I'll see you soon.